looks like me in the morning. Armadillo lizard, that's real because of the holiday armadillo. Theosaurus butterfly. Oh, it's beautiful. I hope he's real. It's very pretty. Is he, is he real? Oh! Oh, it's really pretty. The scaly liquor. That can't be right. That's um, a Komodo dragon. Close. <laughs> okay. The pointy finger. No, that can't be right. It's a hat bug. Form bug, half right. Rhinorosaurus beetle, yeah, that's a dung be beetle, right? <clears throat> Thank you, Bugs Life. Camel spider, that sounds true, and it looks horrifying. Needle-nosed midgy. <laughs> Oh, he seems sweet. I'm gonna say he's real. Ow. Oh, oh, that's cool. Thorny devil. Oh, you're thorny devil. Uh, no, that's like a sand alien. Uh, assassin bug. Brother to James bug. Um, I don't know. Yeah, he looks like an assassin. It's red and black, yeah. Green jumping Margo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? A who? The Katie did. Of course he did. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Please let that be real. <laughs> oh, Dragon Ball Z. What is that? Oh. Alien Ant. <laughs> Looks like me in the morning. Um, <laughs> real. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anything was funny. <laughs> I wish there were funny moments, but uh, no, it was incredibly intense. It was like a really, really hard shoot. Um, but the funniest, maybe we had the dog Chojo, who's a star. She plays Sugar in the movie, and she's incredibly cute and lovely. And I had to bond with her, obviously, so that she would trust me and feel safe. And I figured out that she really liked hot dog pieces, so I'd have like hot dogs in my pocket. But then, as soon as the water started rising, they became like soggy, damp hot dog pieces. So by the end of the movie, I smelt like a giant wet hot dog on set all day, every day. Yeah, I didn't get ill. I didn't get, no, I did get sick halfway through. Um, I have a like irrational fear of being pruny. I'm one of those people that will sit in the bathtub with my feet and my hands out because I can't stand the feeling of it. And uh, for some reason took on this job and halfway through realized that I was gonna have to deal with just constantly being pruny. Um, but it's better than doing the whole movie like this, which probably wouldn't have been as good. It was incredibly hot outside. We were filming in Serbia in the summer. So um, we'd kind of all freeze in the tanks because they'd forget to turn the heating on sometimes. Uh, and then we'd kind of like, when we were changing the camera angle or something like that, we'd run outside and I had a towel that I would put on this car park floor and I would lay and try and toast for like a few minutes <laughs> and then get back on set, dunk myself and start again. <laughs> the alligators are almost 100% CGI. So what I had to look at on set would be like a stunt guy dressed in a lime green tight like her condom suit um, and that was terrifying so it was easy to kind of find the horror within that. I mean I kind of like really just get into it you have to just play pretend you have to fully go back to being a kid and playing make-believe and, and trying to feel absolute terror. Um, I'd have Alex the director kind of shouting at me going okay he's behind you he's to the left quick no he's got you ah and I would just be like oh god yeah and it was um that face is gonna look great um, <laughs> it was like yeah it was playing pretend. I did, yeah, I trained for an hour every day in the London Aquatic Centre with a coach, uh, which I really needed because I started at the absolute basic level. I uh, started in the kiddie pool with the floaty devices, having six-year-olds overtake me, um, and he really slowly kind of built me up to where I graduated to the big girl level, and now I can swim properly. I didn't know, but I wasn't a strong swimmer at all. I was a like float on the chair kind of swimmer. Um, I could tread water, which was very important. Uh, but no, he got me into real shape. It's also about, I wanted to make sure that 
even Haley, when she's not swimming, when she's standing or when she's warming up, when she's stretching, that she moves like an athlete, she moves like a swimmer. So I studied that a lot to make sure that it kind of made sense. Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, I'd like it to be one of the baby eggs who thinks I'm now the mother and they all start swimming and following me around because they think that Haley is the alligator mama. And they're like her little tribe of baby alligators. We'd fight climate change together. <laughs> That's what we would do. Uh, yeah, I've, I kind of, most of my work is usually in an American accent. I really enjoy it because um, you get to let go of class system, which we kind of have in England. And I have quite a working class accent normally when I'm relaxed. And um, I've always had to kind of change that to feel like I fit in. Whereas in American accent, you, it's a lot freer. Um, I had an amazing dialect coach eight years ago when I first started doing my first film in America. And she kind of taught me that the American accent is very lazy. And my husband's American, so I'm allowed to say this, but it's just super lazy. They just completely relax into their mouth. Well, that's cool. Um, be something throwback. I'd want to do, like, I don't know, the Saved by the Bell franchise or something fun. <laughs> like a reimagined version. I always liked Lisa though. Lisa was my favorite. She was cool. No, I haven't done superhero yet. Yeah, of course. I mean, if it, if the character's right and um, it's an honest portrayal of a woman, then I'm down to play anything.